this was supposed to be a surprise. I was supposed to film this reveal in Japan. Not in my empty flat in Brussels. I've been saving this for a special occasion. This occasion isn't special, but um, special circumstances. Uh, I've been wanting to go to Japan to live, to study ever since I was 14. the 23rd of November 2019. I've been telling myself that I want to document the process of moving abroad. I sold the Christmas tree, which is the first thing I'm selling from this apartment. So it's actually the last Christmas in this apartment. I bought my plane ticket to Tokyo. And today I paid the school. My entire bank account is cleaned out so this is leaving today and all my clothes that were in here are now in these it's almost my night just got home from a shift i turned this on today because i sold more furniture so this apartment is starting to get more and more empty look at the size of the room dark circles. I bought my new PC today, which was very expensive. My laptop that I'm going to bring with me to Japan. Oh my god! This is probably my penultimate job. It really feels empty. More and more empty. It's creeping me out. This is filled to the brim with books. The backpack is, as you can see, ugh, filled with books. And I'm gonna try and go sell them. All of them. I'm pretty sure that this, seeing the address, this is the certificate for my visa. This is the certificate of eligibility. I was packing up my uniform uh, to give back to my one of my agencies. So it's the 2nd of March, which means that in 26 days, I am moving to Tokyo. And I still don't know where I'm gonna live. Just So I got accepted into my house of choice. I got my visa today! They're starting to cancel a lot of flights from high-risk country and the list keeps getting bigger. All the universities are closing down that we're basically on lockdown like cafes, clubs, restaurants, we're all shutting down, schools are shut down. Everything is so confusing at the moment. Everything is so weird. Everything is cancelled, um, like officially. My school, my last jobs, the gym is cancelled. <sighs> so for these past few days, I've been going from numb to sad to incredibly anxious to incredibly angry. And I'm just gonna let you guess which one I am today. First of all, an attempt to keep this video I am going to use the abbreviation CV in reference of that thing that's been going around um, yeah. So today as I'm filming this, it is the 23rd of March We in Belgium have been in total confinement uh, for 
six days now and since the 21st of March, Japan has closed its borders to the EU and invalidated all visas that might have already been issued. But even before then, with the total confinement and the situation changing day by day, I wasn't convinced that I was going to be able to travel. But with that last bit of news, any morsel of hope I still had at that point was stopped. Except one thing, um, my flight, my then uncancelled flight was on the 28th. So I found myself in kind of an unfortunate situation. Surprise! I did not move to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So, Japanica 2.0, the big one, was me moving to Japan with a student visa. I had a school where I was going to learn Japanese. Uh, I would have started um, like early, early April. I had a place to live, which I had to give up, which is breaking my heart because it took me ages to find it and it seemed perfect and I couldn't keep it, obviously. So that sucks. <laughs> yeah, all in all, it was going to be that fresh new start you know what i mean like exciting new scary but i was getting out of here i was starting new new adventures it was so exciting oh my god and now by the time that i'm filming this so 23rd of march i currently have no answers i don't know if and when i'm going to be able to reschedule this um, from what I've heard, Hong Kong is actually going through a second wave of CV and here we're only in the first week of confinement so no one knows how long this is going to last especially if people keep going out <sighs> so yeah, I'm supposed to move out of this apartment by the end of the month I'm trying to negotiate a few extra months with my landlord, but given everything, I don't know if a few months is going to be enough. Who knows? I already sold all my furniture. I'm left with my drawing table, which I'm now using as my computer desk. I'm lucky that I still have my mattress. No bed frame, just a mattress on the floor, but that's still good. Um, <laughs> I don't even own any spoons, yo. I have two forks and some dessert spork things that I use as spoons. I don't even really have any cooking utensils anymore. But yeah, most of my things are in boxes at my mom's, but one, I don't have access to them right now, obviously, because total confinement, but also I don't know if there's a point of moving them back into here yet. I'm I'm just waiting for answers at this point and I don't know when they'll come, hopefully soon, because otherwise I'm out of a friggin' home. But yeah, it will probably be a few months, if not more than a few months. In that case I'll have to figure something out. Mm. In the meantime, there's nothing much I can really do except just wait patiently luckily even though this place is as you can hear um, <laughs> even though it's half empty it's still you can still live in it it's still functional I was a few days away from selling my washing machine luckily it's still there so I have clean clothes still got water still got the internet thank god I can still speak to people on the phone um, so this place is still like somewhat comfortable and I know this place, I've lived here for the past five years, I know the city, I can go outside on like short, short walks, uh, get some fresh air. So technically, apart from the anxiety of all the stress 
um, not knowing of all the uncertainty of you know like the living situation and, and not of not having a job um, <laughs> apart from all the uncertainty which is not nothing but apart from that I am technically in the same boat as everyone else on lockdown the same fears the same shitty isolation and uh, yeah so I'm trying to be positive I'm trying my best it's not great but yeah it is what it is it's still a lot not gonna lie but um, one day at a time right I will say something though I'm gonna hold this bottle in my hand because it makes me look more like a little crazy like you know a little unbalanced I'm coming for you I will say this because it's getting me really riled up and really angry and I usually try not to take sides because everyone's got an opinion they're entitled to that but this really pisses me off people be a team player and stay indoors stay at home as much as you can please I don't care about freedom of the people anymore at this point I do not care this is day six of self-isolation I don't want it to last months and months on end because people are going out and we're going around in a loop <laughs> yeah you agree with me don't you <laughs> stay at home and if you want to do like something extra convince other people to stay at home I mean I heard it on the radio this morning be the party pooper of the group be the annoying responsible one of the group say like you know what guys let's just stay at home let's not go out let's not go party let's not go for brunch let's not go from let's not go for tennis doubles today <laughs> stay at home convince other people to stay at home even if your country isn't on lockdown stay at home essentials only grocery shopping posts if you have to pharmacy that's it that's it if you have to help like your parents or your grandparents leave a bag in front of their door just yeah oh my god this gets me so mad i don't want to be stuck in this empty flat for months on end i don't want people to get sick i don't want people to die i don't want to keep reading tweets about hospitals struggling stay at home Okay, that, that's enough said on my end. I could go on and on for hours because it makes me so angry. Right, that's enough for me. If you're someone in a similar situation as me, first of all, don't, don't do this, this is stupid. This is for a video, but um, I'm gonna regret this tomorrow. <laughs> if you're in a similar situation, if your plans that you've been looking forward to have been canceled, if you're isolated, if you're struggling, if... what else did I put on here? If you're going mad on lockdown. Uh, I'm not mad yet, but I'm getting there. I'm sending brave, happy vibes your way. Okay, catch them for the camera. Um, <laughs> yeah, know that it's okay to be sad it's okay to mope i keep going from yeah i can do this i can do this power through to hosting the biggest pity party in the world know that it's okay to be sad just coast through your emotions they they will come at an end at one point you know as all things do things come to an end this lockdown will come to an end this nightmare will come to an end coast through the difficult parts if you have to even if you're losing a day two days a week's worth of work slash netflix slash animal crossing if all you can do is coast through the minutes through the hours through the days do that whatever whatever can get you through the day honestly just do your best and know that it's okay to be depressed and sad and feel what you're feeling just as long as you're feeling those things uh, from inside a home where you're not infecting people. I will try and update you guys on my own situation. I will try and post like good things, news, thoughts, good vibes on my Instagram stories and on Twitter. Um, if you're interested in art, I will try. 
and do art. Just know that on my end, things aren't easy. I'm having to, oh my God. I haven't felt the need to cry today, but right now, <laughs> I just, I felt this little like twinge of like, Just know that on my end, things aren't easy and that I'm trying to figure things out. I don't, like, I was more than one foot out the door and now I'm just like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. And the uncertainty is really hard on me. So I'm gonna do my best, but like, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one in this kind of situation. So interact with each other as much as you can. Some people are not feeling very well, so talk to each other, send good vibes. I'm gonna answer as many DMs as I possibly can. I'm slow, possibly I've read what you sent me, but I haven't had the time to reply yet, or I haven't found the right way to reply because I want to reply to you when I'm in a good state of mind, if you know what I mean. I want to like give you what I think you need to hear, but if I can't find it within myself, I'll, I'd rather wait, if you know what I mean, but I'll do my best. And now that you know uh, how things are, <laughs> my situation, I can uh, go, maybe I can go back to streaming from a more comfortable place of my apartment. I don't have to hide in, in, a, in a neutral corner. I'm hoping for the best in this situation. What's most stressful is not really having an income. That's one of the big ones the income and not knowing if I'm gonna have to leave this place and go god knows where. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but I've always figured things out and it's not gonna stop today. Yeah. So wishing you the best. Cheers to you. Thanks to Angelina if it did give me the courage to go through with this video. <laughs> and now I'm gonna try and edit it. Which is gonna be hilarious. Um, go drink it a whole bunch of water now but yeah take care i'm here for you guys i'm gonna do my damn best on my end not to mope too much because like i said moping is okay but not too much like sometimes you gotta pick yourself up the floor and uh yeah i l word you all take care yeah Well, hello everybody. This is Iku from the future, post hangover. Very silly of me, feeling very dumb right about now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my dear patrons for making this possible, for keeping me fed. <laughs> Help me. So thank you to Devil Khan, Kenji Swift, and Richard Fujinami. To anyone interested, you know those pieces of footage at the beginning? I have about six months worth of those, so if you want me to put them together into um, very boring videos, let me know. I'll do that for you. No problem. Looks like I actually might have all the time in the world. So, yeah, hope to speak to you very soon. Stay connected, stay kind, and stay at home. I'll word you all. Bye for now.